Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. A lot of talented people, man. Some of them have a lot of. Some people got like a lot of self doubt. And, sure. But there's, but there has amazing. Has, we all have self doubt, bro. Yeah, we all have self doubt. Like I told you, Flocker called me, in the midst of me picking myself up, like, okay, let's get it. I'm gonna advertise. I'm gonna do this, do this. I'm gonna reach out, do this. Flocker told me, he like, hey man, no matter what you do, bro, you got to put that talent out there. You got it. You got it. Mm -hmm. Even if only three people see it, keep doing it. That three go turn to thirty. Thirty turn to three hundred. You turned up. Got other people, like I told you, you a million dollar nigga. So I only need to hear that once or twice. Yeah. I ain't nobody you gotta pick up and now y'all telling me this. I need to show you back. Yeah, you a million dollar nigga for Let's tap know. into it, man. Right? And you wanna play me a couple beats. I'm you know like, what I'm saying? What? Like I got beats, bro. Like I do. Like I said, it's a hobby that turned into a blessing. Mm -hmm. No matter if I make another hit or sell another beat, I'ma still, bro, be. 60 years old in my man cave on that old ass MPC live by that time. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm I'm about to enjoy life, bro, the right way, respectfully. Yeah, straight up. That's bro. all it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now tell me this, we talked about B Will. Mm -hmm. We talked about WAP. You got some records. Um, what's another record that you did that you that you were a part of that you can reveal to the people? Or that you want to reveal to the people? Man, one 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 I like, bro. Just because I love the beat, I love the beat before Boosie got on it. Uh, it's called Boosie Finish You. If it's got over a million views, just on the audio, first couple months years ago, and Boosie talking this shit, he talking that Boosie talk mm. that we love to hear, and that's always been one of my favorite, bro. So if people can go check that out. And just look at it as entertainment and just take it in and vibe with it. It's raw. Finish you by Boosie. Yeah. It's raw. I think I heard that one. Yeah, that's, that's one of them hidden gems, bro, that if he would have shot the video to that, man, ain't no telling. Ain't no telling. Mm. Real talk. I, I think that, like, music, mm -hmm. like, you know how they say, like, don't nothing get old but clothes? Mm -hmm. When you got good music, yeah. it's gonna last forever. Oh yeah, it for sure. Never, it ain't gonna never, never get get old. And that's why I'm at the point. I ain't just trying to. I'm not trying to keep up with the wave, but I do understand it. So we all take a little flavor from here and there. Yeah, we'll be lying if we said we, you know, we didn't or we don't. Um, but man, I'm just head down. Just. Hey, what's up? Let's work. What's up? Let's work. Mm -hmm. I ain't, I don't hear nothing. Because yeah. I don't do no talking. I ain't coming. Man, you can say whatever, bro. I ain't coming back. You don't know me, I don't know you. You don't owe me, I don't owe you. You just showing me who you is. Thank you. On to the next. What's up, dog? Yeah. Energy. Cool. I ain't got no time to waste. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Man, so, but I'm I'm definitely definitely looking forward to seeing your music back out. Cause now me currently oh, the, up? the Shreveport scene, yeah, it, it's gangster, it's real gangster. Yeah, but it, it's but that's that's the reality of it. Yeah, yeah, it's gangster, and they you know they doing whatever's going on. And I hope that shit get better. It's gonna get better. Ain't no hope. I believe in power of the tongue too. It's gonna get better. Mm -hmm. But music is shifting too. That shoot 'em up, bang bang shit. It ain't. You know what I'm saying? No. I ain't never been, even though I produced a lot of hit gangster records. You know, I ain't into it. I listen to number R&B, honestly. Mm. When I go in the studio, I just play sounds and them sounds come together in my head and I just put the shit together like a pot of gumbo. But far as all it, nah, man. I'm black. I'm a father. I got two boys, two daughters. So I don't hear that shit either. Mm -hmm. You know, it's cool every now and then. You in the gym, you like, you need to get it out, but it's 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 a change. Boss man D Lo turned this bitch up. Oh, he changing the game. Man, I I I was listening to him like a month before he blew up. He just popped up on like a playlist on Apple Music. One of his first mixtapes, bro. I heard that song like Chick-fil-A and Rotation and all that. Man, I started just texting the songs to people. I'm like, man, this dude raw. Mm-hmm. Talking money. Talking money. You can't hate on them at all. What you gonna say? 
then he throwing sports in there, making it relatable. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Some guy, I don't know his name, and this, this clip popped up on Instagram. Some guy was saying that, man, I think boss man copied Detroit flow in a sense or something. Man, like look, that. like, it's to each his own. Again, I told you, I, don't, I ain't arguing. That's how that man feel. Like, yeah. Music is a acquired taste. Some people like water, some people don't. Go get your Sprite. It is what it is. It is what it is. It ain't nothing to it. I like Boss Man D-Lo. I like him too. I don't agree with he stole somebody's style. He's very refreshing compared to all his other shit. Yeah. In my humble opinion. Yeah. And, so. and going to the club, and if you want to see a nice reaction and everybody having fun, everybody talking about getting money, looking oh, fly. Oh, man. That's, that's, it's winning right now. I want it. That's some, that's some music I want to Man, you hear. can play 20 of his songs, dog. Play that 22. 22. Mm. Oh, I spend my right pocket on some tennis shoes. Come on, man. He talking that shit. Make you want to go yeah. go get some money. Yeah. So I respect it, man. Yeah, yeah. I respect it. Man. Now, for the people who go see this interview, mm -hmm. that's wherever they may be, mm -hmm. they, they've never experienced Coco Palace. Mm -hmm. I have. I'm yeah. an older guy. I'm 34. Yeah. Well, I, I ain't worried about my I'm age. I'm 35. I'm so, 35. So... When I went to Coco, I've been to Coco Palace. Uh, I went like three times mm -hmm. in my life. Yeah. But the time, the time that I did go, it was the energy was so high. It's like I couldn't believe where I was at. Like you couldn't even it, take it in at that one like, time. You and just three floors. Yeah, you just bouncing around. You just happy like. So I'm like, man. So what? What was it like? You being at Coco Palace, and like I wouldn't say you a record was played or. <sighs> Yeah. Well, I can say if a record was played, what was that feel like being in your city in a legendary club that's still talked about till this day? Mm -hmm. That's closed. Mm -hmm. And one of the records that you had a party Ooh. in was played. Damn, dog, I got chills on the low, like for real. Every time it happened, because when you in the wave, when you in the motion and all that, you can't take in how everybody else looking at it. Yes. Like how everybody looking at Boss Man D-Lo and his music, I'm pretty sure he looking, he don't look at it like that. So when I'm in the club, you know, and I'm going in to hear the music playing, when they play it, I'm from Shreveport. So when I go in Coco's, everybody turn and look at me, my reaction, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? And shit, they start holding their cup up. You see people in the crowd, everybody going crazy down there hanging from shit. Like that was one of the ones, bro. Then the DJs hype it up with the air horn behind it, running back six times. So that was crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, yeah, that tag, that fine vine on the beat, I'm telling you, bro, I was just going with the motions, bro. Yeah. Because when I was in high school, like my real name, Divine. Like that's my real name. So my nickname is Vine. Girl used to be like, so fine, Divine. Mm -hmm. Senior year came, I got cousins, number dudes. You know what I'm saying? You know they give you a nickname, Fine Vine. Just like Pretty Ricky, my cousin Mac Mouth, Fine Vine, Fine Vine. So it's Fine Vine, everybody. Fine Vine, Fine Vine, Fine Vine, my bad. So once every disc came, I was like, damn, I need a tag. So I hit up a, uh, a young lady. Uh, I don't think she here no more, young, young Nisa. She worked on the radio at 99.7. And I asked her, could she give me a tag? Because I heard the tags was coming up in the game. And she did that Fine Vine on the beat. That's on every disc, and I put it on there. That's how that happened. I ain't asked her, hey, I'm fine. I ain't never, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm fine, bro, fine for the 12. But that's how that came about. Mm -hmm. So now, everywhere I go, especially regionally, fine, 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 fine. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. and, I, and I, I be messing with people sometimes, be like, man, fine, fine. Man, he passed away about five years ago. You lying. I'm buying on the beat, bro. <laughs>